So I'm letting you know as a disclaimer, uh, disclaimer, I'm going to be laying out a little bit of anger um, as part of the healing process. Um, but I've been bullied a lot by uh, people in the workplace for having autism, you know, and a lot of it's left a very bad uh, impact on me. Um, it's caused me to have a very negative influence, negative view of women because it wasn't just like one or two women. It was a lot of women at multiple jobs. It was, you know, not just like coworkers, but it was also managers and even senior managers, you know. It was a lot of people. So I'm trying to understand what happened, make sense of it all. And I guess really what's going on is these individual women were like unhappy or because it was minimum wage a minimum wage job in fast food it's like they these individual women felt threatened simply because I had book smarts even though they were better at their jobs than I was you know and because I had autism because I, I have autism I'm an easy target so because they were unhappy with their lives they didn't want me to be happy because I would just joke around and have fun and um, I'd still do work. I'd actually even do more work than some people because it'd give me extra work. And I just kept busy while other people were chatting. But because um, they were unhappy, they wanted to make my life miserable to feel better than themselves. And um, because I had book smarts, some of them I felt, you know, threatened about their self esteem somehow. So. They simply were trying to make tear me down in any way they could, these individuals. So I kind of have to remember there were some women who really were cool with me. You know, the, there were women who had no problems with me. You know, I was just doing my work. And there were women at the one place who really didn't have a problem with me. So, yeah, it's, it's it left a lot of uh, damage in my mind. A lot of it's because of the PTSD. It, my mind is geared towards remembering bad things. So, I'm about to go into therapy, and I'm going to discuss this. I'll let you know afterwards. Alright, so I just got out of therapy. Um, we talked a little bit about um, me stereotyping women with um, based on what I've been through and trying to understand individualism. Um, we end up talking about how I get cyclical thoughts in the morning at work when I'm by myself, and that contributes a lot to it. We talked about where these thoughts originated and how they came to. Um, sorry, I got horny over here. Like, where these these cyclical thoughts really came from while I'm having them. We also talked about how I could work on social skills and having conversations. And we decided that maybe I should practice with guys before I go to women because um, from what I've experienced, guys tend to not care about social awkwardness as much as women and that's just the way it is. But yeah, that was today's therapy session. We also talked a little bit about... Um, how being goal oriented is just helping me do goals how just the idea of having another goal to work to work towards is making me uh stick to a goal because i know i can't get to that goal until i complete a goal and that's the only thing that's keeping me disciplined because if i try to lose weight so i can lose, eat a candy bar i'm just gonna eat the candy bar anyways because i don't have the the discipline to do it go through so but yeah, um, that was today's therapy. Like I said, I'm going to work on social skills with interacting with people. Uh, maybe try to figure out how to get rid of the cyclical thoughts, how to work on my um, getting depressed from time to time. But yeah, that was therapy today. Um, I'm going to keep going. Wish me luck.